up guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another hair video i feel like i haven't posted a hair video in a while and once i posted on my story these curls you guys were blowing up my dms so here i am showing you a little tutorial on how i get these flexi rod curls now this is only my second time using flexi rods i've had them forever just sitting in my bathroom and i finally decided to you know let's switch it up and try something new i'm going to be taking you through my full routine my pre-prep and how i get these like super defined super bouncy curls jump to this video every product that i will be using will be listed down below and you can also find it in my amazon storefront don't forget to hit that thumbs up button leave me a comment down below if you have any questions and of course do not forget to subscribe so i'm going to be taking you through how i do these flexi rods really quickly before we jump into the tutorial i'm just going to kind of take you through my prep to get here one i started off by shampooing my hair with the shea moisture manuka honey and then i went in with the shea moisture strength and restore deep conditioner and i deep conditioned my hair so that was the first two parts following that i went in with my styling products so i went in with my leave-in conditioner the kinky curly not today and then i went in with the miss jesse's pillow soft curls so when it comes to my styling products i like to put them in while i'm in the shower while it's super hot in there while i have the steam and everything going i have low porosity hair and if you have low porosity hair you know how difficult it is for products to really get in there and penetrate your hair so if you can steam your hair while you're putting in products it's so much much better and your hair will stay so much more moisturized so that is like one of my number one tips for low porosity hair so following that once I got out the shower I went in with my oil I usually use the Shea Moisture Argon oil but I ran out so instead I used the Olaplex oil and now we are here so now let's jump into the tutorial and how I get these curls okay so let me show you the flexi rods that I'm gonna be using so I use three different sizes. I have this little skinny little red one here. I have like a medium size or a small medium blue one here. And then I have the medium, the gray one right here. It just kind of switch it up so the curl is not identical. I like to use the red one in the front. I use the red one in the back. <laughs> just start off great. <laughs> I like to use the red ones in the front of my hair. So I will be taking these red ones out. I use the tiny blue ones in the back um tighter curl i like it to be way more uniform so you can see these are the curls you're going to see the most crown middle section i'll go in with the bigger ones in the back and other random places probably wreck the back around the side i'll go in with the blue ones or kind of work the blue ones in and out i have the shea moisture mousse i've been loving mousse lately one you definitely wouldn't want to use hair gel for this style anyway because it's going to become too hard and like crunchy but mousse it'll still hold and be firm but still give you like bounce and then it'll still be really really soft once i part off a section i like to kind of pre-separate it to see how many sections i'm going to be doing if that makes sense so here it is and then i just kind of So I just kind of feel around to see how thick each section is. And so this one definitely needs three. Okay, starting off with some mousse. And then I have my dimming brush here. You really want to smooth it out. You don't want any kinks or bumps or anything like that because then your curls are really gonna get like tangled and stuff and then they won't come out nicely. I got the ends nice and wrapped. Then I'm gonna use the rest of my hair to pretty much overlap my ends. So I'm gonna go back over my ends and this kind of helps just secure it in place so it doesn't come undone. Then when I get to the top, my, my roots are, you know, frizzy. I wanna make sure this is nice and secured here. And so I start to twist, twist it around, roll it up a little bit, and then twist it one more time so it's nice and tight at my root. And then you just fold it on over. So the ends will stay put because you overlap it with the rest of your hair. So you don't have to really worry about your ends. You just want to make sure it's nice and tight at the root. Let me just go on through the rest of this and then I'll come back to you guys when I get to the front. Okay, 
I'm back. I did one in the front and I got probably like three, four more. And then we're done. Same thing, just add the mousse. I mean, it's pretty much the same process over and over. Um, but you just really, really, it's really important to get it as smooth as possible. So at the bottom, and then we just roll. Roll it on up, that frizzy section right here. Then I start to twist it. Roll it, and then twist it one more time to get it nice and tight at the root, especially in the front. Oh, look at my eye. All right, we're gonna hit the last few. What I'll do is if I see any like frizzy ends or ends like trying to escape, I'll take some mousse and just put just a little bit on my finger and then I'll just go and just kind of just wrap it around just to make sure it stays nice and secure. And if you need to, you can fold the bottoms over too if you got any like ends trying to pop out. Um, but yeah, I just go in and just so it's nice and smooth. This is what she's looking like. I'm gonna make, go make me some food and then I'll be right back because I'm gonna be sitting under the dryer, a heated dryer while I do some emails and some work and stuff. So I'll be back. Okay, I am back. It's the next day, as you can tell. I end up leaving these in overnight and I actually just went to the gym in this. I just threw a bonnet over my head and worked out with it. I just wanted to make sure my hair was completely dry and I didn't want to sit under the dryer too long. It takes my hair forever, forever to dry. So let's take them out. I got my Olaplex here. You just want to put a little bit of oil on your fingers. I'm putting nothing like snags or anything. Up and then just start unraveling the opposite direction. Just like that. Obviously, the more you separate it, the bigger your hair is gonna get. Usually for me on day one, my hair is not as big as I like it. Love my hair on like day three, day four, day five. I like a little bit of frizz, I like it fluffy. But day one, it's gonna be super defined and still look really good. And then, let me just show you one in the front. Your hair will actually just start to separate on its own, like just naturally. And so I just start by kind of just roughly pulling it apart. So one, yes, the curls will start to separate on their own, but figure out which direction the hair curls in. Um, so this one curls forward here if you want to reduce frizz. So once you pull it apart, go ahead and twist it back up a little bit. If that makes sense so pull it apart and then do a little bit of twisting Just like pull every piece apart your hair is gonna be a frizzy mess okay, so here is like the initial separation for the most part this is what it looks like it's still not very big not full but you can see the curls are super defined now what i like to go in and i just go and fill around and find like all of the thicker pieces that i can find and then i just separate them more it's a process but so worth it so see like there's a whole big chunk right there let's go in and start separating this section this is pretty much the biggest my hair is gonna get day one which is fine uh, we'll get bigger over the week and honestly these curls last so long like I kid you not I was sleeping in them I was working out in them and they were still super super divine I had a little bit more oil but this time for like shine I'm using this mixed chicks hair silk whatever it's kind of thick so I don't go too much but it just makes my hair shinier so rub that into both sections and go in with a pick so make sure you only pick out the roots you do not want to run this through your hair because you're gonna jack up your curls so i just kind of messy with it just go in and pick it out a little 
That's pretty much it. Yeah, make sure you guys check down below. I will list all the products that I use. And this is my little Flexi Rod tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will get to them. But thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video.